Hi, I'm Allie, and welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm going to be making some ooh, so good deliciousness. Fried apple pies. Or hand pies, if that's what you want to call them. There we go. Yep. And my ingredients for the filling, I'll do the filling first, and then I will do the dough part of it. But in my bowl here, I have four apples, peeled, cored, and chopped. I've got a fifth one right here that I'm going to do here in a minute. I've got roughly two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and pour them over my apples to keep them from turning brown. Here I have, of course, a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And my nutmeg is my secret ingredient, y'all. It's going to give it a little bit of... So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I peel the apples and how Piggy and I cut them up. and my lemon juice in here. Stir those together. I'm going to sprinkle this sugar in here. Like I said, that's only a fourth of a cup of sugar to all those. And my teaspoon of cinnamon and my eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And I'm going to stir all this together. And I'm going to cook this down. Huh? Stir it, stir it. Yeah. I'm going to cook these down in my skillet. I'm going to cook them in some butter until they're nice and cooked down. And then I'll cool them for about an hour or so in the refrigerator. And what I'll do is probably cook, do that, let them cool down really good while I'm making up the dough. Oh, y'all, that smells so good. Here. All right, we'll see you over here at the stove top. Okay, I've got about two tablespoons of butter in my skillet. I'm going to kind of let it break it up a little bit and let it melt down. And then I'm going to add my uh, apples to it. I might add a little bit more butter. I don't know. It just depends on how this does. And I do have this cooking on medium heat. Butter's melting down. I'm going to go ahead and put my apples in here. Give them an opportunity to start cooking. Now, if you're wondering why, I only put a quarter cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. I like the flavor of the apple as well as the cinnamon. But uh, apples are naturally sweet, normally. And you shouldn't have to put a ton of sugar in them. Alright. We see these in there. I want to cover these. I'm going to let them cook for about 10, maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes, somewhere along those lines. And come back, I'll stir them. We'll see how they look. And I'll probably let them cook total about 25 minutes. 
it shouldn't take longer than that. If it does, we'll let you know. But I, I think I'll come back about the 10 minute mark and uh, stir them really good, let you see how well they're cooking down. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, it's been about eight minutes. Go ahead and show you what these look like. It's going to take a little time for them to cook down. But they are looking good. They're smelling good. And I'm just going to let them cook on medium. And we'll come back when they're done. It may be another 10 minutes. It might be 15 or 20 minutes. I'll let you know how long it's been and how long it took them to cook down. Okay. Yeah, the uh, apples are done. Uh, I cut them off and I noticed they were done. You'll see those. Got some nice caramelization on those. I'm putting them in a bowl. Okay, I'm going to put some aluminum foil on here. Put them in the refrigerator and let this cool down for a little bit. I am making the... Uh, the crust for the pie, uh, hand pies, the fried apple pies. In my bowl here, I have roughly two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, you can use self-rising, but it, it will make the crust a little thicker and doughier, and I'm not into the thicker, doughier crust. So, uh, And basically, I make this up like I would my biscuits for my hand pies, only I use all-purpose flour. And yes, I am using snow cap lard. Miss Joy, I get it by the tub instead of the box. And I'm gonna put hmm, maybe that much. Anita, I'll think about putting some of these in the freezer for you. <laughs> uh, well, we promised her we'd set her some back in case she come through, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll set her one or two back. Put that over in the sink because I don't want to do And y'all, like I said, this is just like I make my biscuits. I just put my hand in there and I squeeze all this stuff together. Piggy's good, y'all. Piggy has washed my dishes up for me. He's, he keeps my head on straight. That's a hard job right there. I drive him crazy. I don't have to worry about my own head. It's tied on with a titanium plate. That's it. Literally. Okay. And I'm just making these the way my mama made them. My mama used self-rising flour. You got all you need out of that? Nope, 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 hold on. You know I scraped the bowl. Get all that goody. Okay, now we got it. Now Ways not want not. That's it. Yeah, my mama used self-rising flour for these, and they'd always puff up real thick. I was never big on the hand pies. Then I tried some that was made with all-purpose flour, and they turned out a little bit better, and I liked them a little better. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it just like I did my biscuits, like I said, and then I do have a little bit of something different I'm going to do. I will use the rolling pin like I do for my uh, pie, uh, pie crust for my big pies. I'll roll this stuff out. I might get I get five or six of these out of here. I might not get three or four, but I'm gonna have to make up some more dough, y'all. And you know what? If I do, I do. 
I can do these right here and then make up some more. Uh, do your stuff's clean and ready for you. That's it. Yeah, you'll probably have to make up some more because that really ain't a whole lot. That's not going to make a full circle there. No, looks like I'm going to get one circle out of this one. I need to get that one cut. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this right here for the time being. And if y'all don't remember this, this is my little press that will press those in together. And I'm not going to get a full of hair either, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this stuff back together and re-roll it. Use that up and make some more dough go with it. Yeah. And that's probably what I'll do is I'll make up what I got right here. And if all I get is two, that's fine. I'll be one for me and one for Piggy. And then I can make up some more dough after a while. This will be enough to show y'all what she's doing anyhow. Yeah. And you just might have to double, triple your dough. I mean, it's not a big thing. But with just me and Piggy, two's all I need right now. that I can make a couple more for my friend Anita. Yeah. And probably what I will do with this other dough is wrap it up, put it in the refrigerator, and mix it with the new dough I make. And then I'll take that dough off. I'll set this over to the side right here. Lift that up. Might be a little bit on the thicker side, but that's about the same size as that one. And Piggy, if I can get you to hand me the uh, apples out of the freezer. I just put them in there for a few minutes to chill down. There it is. All right. You what I'm going to do here with this. And if y'all haven't already seen me use this, I will uh, put the uh, link to the video I did this in. I did uh, some pepperoni pizza hand pies and I used this and I put some links in it uh, in the description to where you could find these little presses at. You might put it in there again on this one just so that yeah. they ain't got to go searching for it. Well, I was going to put the, put the, tag the, uh, video. tag the video in it, and it'll have everything in it that it needs. And you see, I put about two good tablespoons of that in there. And, yeah. Ooh. Popping out the back. Popping out the back, y'all. Tearing it up. Oh, well. It's killing my pie. It's killing my pie. Well, you know what? There's a way to fix that, folks. A little bit of that dough on it. It's called Patch This Puppy. Because I can tell you, once I get it patched, I ain't going to worry about it too I can much. patch the other side too. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, if I was deep frying them in a deep fryer, I would worry about this. But since I'm pan frying them, I'm not going to worry about it with the patch. This right here just goes to show you can make a mistake and you can correct it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of this dough off right here around the edge. I should have done that on there. And what it is, is I probably did not have that thing closed all the way when I put my dough on there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's sitting all the way closed now. Yeah, I think it might have a little dough in it too. I see it. I got it. Yeah. And what I'm doing is I'm just pressing this together to make sure. Like I said, that ain't going to be the prettiest hand pie, but y'all, I bet you it tastes good. Mm -hmm. 
you give me a fork, Piggy? I'll just show y'all how to fix that. Yeah, give me a fork. I'm going to pour some of this dough off around the edge. And this is how my granny did the crimping, y'all. She did it with a fork. I know why I'm always going, where's my fork? She got it. I've always got it. See, you just crimp that thing together there with a the fork. Got a little space over here. Right there? Yeah. I get it. Now, I'm not very good at making hand pies. My mom and my granny could make these things going kind of. My granny made them with homemade apple. Uh, Folks, apples that's only because she don't do it that often. She didn't do her biscuits that often until we got together either. She made great biscuits when we got together. She makes better biscuits now. Okay, so I can see I cramped the edges. I've got this on this little plate right here. I'm going to take these over here to my skillet, get ready to put them in there. We're going to bake, or we're going to fry these things in my skillet. And I'll come back and take care of the rest of this stuff. All right, you're it. All right, y'all, I put some lard in my skillet here. I would normally use oil, but lard is really the way to go when you're frying these things. Now, my granny, you shorten, so if you use shortening, you can use shortening. That's up to you. All right, we got these frying. I don't know if you can see them bubbles around the edges of that. I can, yeah, they can see it. I'm going to zoom in on it so they can see it better. Bubble, bubble. All right, so I'm going to finish letting this right here cook. Put that together. And uh, when I get ready to flip these, I'll come back. But I'm going to be putting up stuff over here on the island while these are cooking. Ready? Okay, we're going to turn these over now, y'all. And I will give y'all a hint. If y'all got a cast iron skillet, I'd suggest cooking them in those because they, they make the best. Joy Stewart, you're up. My mama cooked in a cast iron skillet, y'all, so I can't say that. Yeah, that got not turn didn't turn out so great. This right here gonna be the good one right here. I bet it eats the same. Get that going. I'm just saying. Let that cook for about another five minutes or so. It looks good. It smells good, y'all. What Piggy and I'll do is probably try that one because I need to get a picture of at least one of these and that turns the pretty one. I'm going to get a picture of that one. So we'll be back in about another five minutes or so. Get ready to take these things out and taste them. Okay, y'all, as you see, I've got them on the edge in the skillet and I got the skillet cut off. Or I should say the eye turned off instead of cut off. It looks like some delicious stuff right there. Yeah, and you'll see I've got it on both sides. And I got that edge right there cooked a little. And this right here is the other one that kind of tore up on me. It is still trying to. And that's okay. It'll eat the same. It'll eat the same, y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these over here to the island real quick so that I can do a taste test, get a picture. We'll go from there. Okay, y'all, I'm over here at the island. This thing is hot, so I'm just going to use a fork. And well, if I cut into this, I guess y'all can see all that apple pie filling in there. Well, look, I'll hold this right here and let Piggy do his thing. And you'll see I've got it all tore apart. Yeah, you can see that. Got that nice amount of pie. I'm going to take a small bite of it. And then I'm going to give the piggy to try. And I'm going because it's hot, folks. My turn. Mm -hmm. I want that little chunk right here. It's hot.
good flavor, not too sweet, full of fruit, and not a lot of so uh, juicy, sugary, caramelized stuff on it. And I like the fact that it's got a lot of fruit in it. So, well, yeah, that's my version of apple pies, fried apple pies, I should say, or hand pies. It's even better once it cools off just a little bit. Yeah, I think it'll be even better when you can hold it and eat it. And, yeah, you can put any kind of fruit in these you want. Uh, you just have to cook it down to where you can do it. Or you can buy the canned pie filling. And mm. if you don't want to go to the problem of making up your own uh, dough, you can buy some of the large biscuits like the Grands or the store brand Grands or whatever. And you roll them out and then put your pie filling in it and then fry them. You know, it, it's however you want to do it. It's your kitchen, your rules. So, I want to thank y'all for watching my video. Couldn't they use those croissant things, too? They could, but it'd be a little bit, it'd make it something a little different, more like an apple dumpling than an actual apple ham pie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, again, thank you for watching my video. Everybody have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where's my phone?